you everybody. So I do appreciate that on the channel we tend to make things, eh? But not everybody has tools, not everybody has a workshop, not everybody has the time. So I was thinking about this a little bit and here's a few off-the-shelf products that are actually incredibly cheap that could be put together to make a home heating system that will see you through those difficult times. Now the first thing is this, it's actually called an outdoor cosy and apparently it's two kilowatts. Well I, I suspect actually it's to do with the fire that's underneath it, but that will fit on a propane stove, a pressurised paraffin stove, all kinds of stoves and turns them into a heater. Now I bought that from Amazon, it's £12 and I'm not surprised, I mean it's just a bit of slotted steel on the outside bit of steel with holes in it and then it's got a cap on with some slots in the cap so it's not much more complicated than a couple of bean cans slotted together and we could make it but equally you can buy that for 12 pounds so that's the first thing that will turn any stove it fits on into a room heater of up to two kilowatts for 12 pounds that's ridiculous if you think about it and it is called the outdoor cozy bs 150 which i got from amazon the other thing I got from Amazon was this thing. This is a Chinese paraffin stove. It was £17. Now it works off paraffin, kerosene, same thing, okay, lamp oil probably. Dead simple to use and gives a nice blue flame so we're getting complete combustion. And it's very simply made. We've got a bit of pressed steel as the top there. Then it's got the case with the fuel container. We take that, it's got a ring an inner ring and a central ring and then we've got a little adjustable wick arrangement right here and you take that off and that's where you put your fuel so that's a kerosene heater that 17 pounds so 12 pounds so we've got 29 pounds the main issue with these kind of things is the fuel that they burn because of course kerosene paraffin that's quite expensive per litre but of course we then did a video 1783 where we discovered how to make our own biodiesel it was about as difficult as making a cup of tea which is what somebody posted and i thought it was hilarious because it's about right i'll put a link at the end of this video because you can make that biodiesel for about 50 pence a litre so there it is and that will go in this stove and burn clean in that stove for 50p a litre instead of sort of three pounds, four pounds a litre. These things together will make an awesome heating that anybody could do because you're really just buying some bits and pieces and putting them together. So let's put this together in a way that it would be a heater. First thing to do is to put our outdoor cosy directly onto there. Luckily enough, the thing actually fits rather snugly. <laughs> there we go. That's our adaptation made. All we have to do is fill that with our homemade biodiesel, light it up and put the thing together. Beautiful flame, actually. And that's it together. So there is actually a beautiful flame in there. Okay, I got it seated what? properly and we're getting a beautiful blue flame all the way around. What happens is the heat from there rises into this top bit, gets caught in this top bit starts to get really really hot so already in a couple of minutes uh, that's got to 120 degrees on the top so there's a little printed thing that's hot on it and I can really feel the heat even though I'm that near so that is an extraordinarily cheap and simple solution the trick to it really is the fuel Oh, with something like this, you are inevitably going to get the health and safety sallies out there telling you about carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, and if you look at it sideways, then you're going to drop down dead. So I've put a link at the end of this video to something called Playing With Fire, which is about the health and safety on such stuff. 
Okay, I can't smell a thing, eh? So even though it's recycled oil, there's no smell to it. It's really quiet. I keep actually having to pick the top off. And I've got these um, gloves, so I'll those gloves, to pick the top off and have a look. Because I think keep thinking it's gone out, but it hasn't. It's a beautiful blue clean flame. It's red in there, that heat is rising up. We've done this with things like the plant pot heater and other heaters where you capture the rising heat in a cylinder and convert it into infrared. And then of course it just comes out at you. It gets hot really quickly and it's a few simple components anybody can put together. The trick is the fuel. And of course 1783 is all about that. So you can have a look at that video. Have a got making your own fuel from waste oil, which as I say, is about as difficult as making a cup of tea. And there we go. Pretty cool for something you can just put together. So I thought I would highlight it for you. I bought all of this, not being promoted for it in any way to suggest it to you, but it's a pretty nice little bit of kit that's going to help keep you warm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.